Hello friends, today let us solve some multiple choice questions based on the topic probability. The question is, choose the correct alternative answer from each of the following questions. The first question is, which number cannot represent a probability? Options are 2 by 3, 1.5, 15% or 0 0.7. We have to decide amongst these four which, which cannot represent the probability. For this we have to use the property of the probability that the probability of any event is in between 0 and 1. So if we have any probability that must be greater than 0 and that must be less than 1. So that is the probability of any event. So we have to use this one. So if we check the first term that is 2 by 3 which can be also written as 0 0.66 if we divide 2 by 3 we get 0 0.66 which is greater than 0 and which is less than 1. So 2 divided by 3 can represent a probability. If we have option C 15% and we know that 15% means 15 divided by 100. So if we divide 15 by 100 again we get 0 0.15. So 0 0.15 is again greater than 0 and less than 1. And lastly option D is there which is 0 0.7 which is again greater than 0 and less than 1. Only, only the second option is there which is 1.5 which is greater than 1 and the probability of any event cannot be greater than 1 that's why here option B cannot represent the probability as it is greater than 1. Second question is a die is rolled what is the probability that the number appearing on the upper face is less than 3. Is it 1 by 6, 1 by 3, 1 by 2 or 0? To solve this we have to write the sample space S for the given event. It is given that a die is rolled and we know that there are 6 surfaces for a die. So we can get number 1, 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 on the upper face. These are the all possible outcomes that is N of S number of sample points is equal to 6. Now here we have to find the probability of an event that the number appearing on the upper face is less than 3. So let us name that event as event A and we need a number on the upper face which is less than 3. So the numbers which are less than 3 amongst these 6 are 1 and 2. We cannot take 3 because we need numbers which are less than 3. So here we get N of A is equal to 2 as there are 2 sample points and now we can find the probability of that event that is P of A is equal to N of A divided by N of S. So this is the formula for probability of event A. Now we have N of A that is 2 divided by N of S number of sample points is 6. So 2 by 6 if we simplify that we get 1 divided by 3. So here the option B is the Correct alternative that is the probability of this event is 1 by 3. Let us have the next question. What is the probability of the event that the number chosen from 1 to 100 is a prime number? And the four options are given over here. Now to solve this question first of all we should write the sample space that is S. Now as there are 100 numbers given that is from 1 to 100 we get all the numbers in this sample space that is we can get 1, 2, 3 up to 100. So we have to choose a number from 1 to 100 so that must be the sample space and n of s that is number of sample points in this sample space are 100. So n of s is equal to 100. Now we have one event given let us name that event as a and the event is that the number chosen from 1 to 100 is a prime number. So in this set we have to collect all the prime numbers between 1 and 100. So the smallest prime number as we know 2. Then after that we have 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 
सिक्सटी सेवन सेवेंटी वन सेवेंटी थ्री सेवेंटी नाइन एटी थ्री एटी नाइन नाइन्टी थ्री एंड नाइन्टी सेवन सो एज यू कैन सी इन दिस इवेंट वी हैव इन टोटल ट्वेंटी सिक्स सैम्पल पॉइंट दैट्स वाई एन ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स now we have n of a we have n of s from that we can find the probability of that event that is p of a is equal to n of a divided by n of s so n of a is 26 divided by n of s is 100 so if we divide in the numerator by 2 we get 13 divided by 50 so we get the probability of this event as 30 divided by 50 which is given at option d so option d is the correct alternative that is probability of this event is 13 divided by 50 let us have the next question there are 40 cards in a pack each bears a number from 1 to 40 one card is drawn at random what is the probability that the card bears a number which is a multiple of 5 so again four options are given this one also we need a sample space so let us have the sample space as there are 40 cards given with numbers from 1 to 40 so we have those numbers from 1 to 40 as 1 2 3 4 up to 40 as there are 40 sample points in this sample space n of s must be equal to 40 and now we have to find the probability of event that if we choose a card the card bears a number which is a multiple of 5 so let us name that event as a again so we need numbers which are multiple of 5 amongst these 40 cards so the first number which is multiple of 5 is 5 then we have 10 15 20 then 25 30 35 so these are the numbers which are multiple of 5 so as we can see there are in all eight numbers that's why n of a is equal to 8 and we have to find the prob probability of that event so p of a is equal to we have the formula n of a divided by n of s so n of a is 8 divided by n of s is 40 so if we divide 40 by 8 we get 1 by 5 so we get the probability of this event as 1 by 5 which is given at option a so option a is the correct alternative that is probability of this event is 1 by 5 another question is there if n of a is equal to 2 p of a is equal to 1 by 5 then what is n of s to find the answer of this one we need the relation between p of a n of a and n of s as the formula for probability of event a that is denoted by p of a is equal to n of a divided by n of s so we have to use this relation now here p of a is given which is given to be 1 by 5 so we'll replace p of a by 1 divided by 5 is equal to n of a is also given that's 2 divided by n of s because we have to find n of s so if you take now n of s to the left hand side it will be in the numerator so n of s is equal to 2 into if you take 1 by 5 to the right hand side it will be in the numerator that is it will become a 5 so n of s is equal to 2 into 5 that's 10 so this is the value of n of s that is that means in the sample space there are 10 sample points which is given at option a so option a is the correct alternative so these are the examples based on the probability I hope you understand these examples. Thanks for watching.